Hi everyone, my name is Craig and I'm a presenter here at the London CXC with Cisco. I want to tell you a few quick things about the Spark Board today so that you can see how easy it is to use. We went around and we asked people for the three main activities that they want to do in a meeting. We've got call, whiteboard and sharing content. Super easy to use. I'm going to show you whiteboarding very quickly. As we go in, we can see our whiteboard and because it has two points of contact, two people can draw on the board at the same time, which is fantastic. We've also got the option to use a pen and that's really easy to do. So I'm just going to scribble on there so you can see how quick and responsive this is. I actually used to be a teacher, so trust me, I have used any number of interactive whiteboards and I love this one. Everything gets saved automatically on the board and we can send that out to the Spark app as well. We've got a home button that brings us back and the pen goes back there on magnets, nice and simple. What I think is really powerful about this though is when you connect it with your mobile device. So we can download Spark for free, it can be on mobile, iOS or Android, it could be on a tablet, on your PC or your Mac everywhere you want. I can use this with my phone now. It automatically pairs up, so I don't need to do anything fancy, and I can go into a specific project space and open that space on the board with one tap. So here we go. I'm now opening the Spark space, and this gives me a window into Craig's Spark board, which is the name of my project. Bam. So you see I've got a few extra options. I can click on people, and see all of the participants that are a member of this space. I can also see that I've got some bots in here to help me and make things super easy. So I've got a recording bot, which is linked to Vbrick Rev, so I can record all the phone calls. I've also got things like translator bots, so when I'm working with my German customers, for example, I can be chatting to them in their own language. I've also got files now. This means that all the files that are previously shared are already in this chat space. No more looking for attachments, no more looking for where that file was stored, it's all here. So let's have a look. I can go into a PowerPoint, for example, and this is super easy, because I don't need to open up PowerPoint, find the file, it's already here. I can pinch, I can zoom, I can double tap to bring it full screen. Soon I'll be able to annotate directly over the top of this as well, which will be super useful. And everything I do is saved. I can also go into my whiteboards. You can see it will ask me, do you want the whiteboard that we did earlier? I'm gonna say no, but we can see a whiteboard here that we've been working on. So I can carry on with previously started whiteboards. Let's see how this looks when I wanna make a call, because all of this is interactive during a live call as well. 12 microphones at the top, 4K camera, nice and easy. I just click call. The system already knows who I'm gonna be calling, because it's all the participants in my group. So let's see who answers. At the start, we are connected in now, but no one else is joining us. When they join in, I can work on this nice and easily. So here we've got Kat, and we've also got my colleague, Valentina, joining from a Spark registered device. There we go. When I go onto here, you can see that my participant moves to the top. Return to call, just like normal, what we would have on a mobile, right? I can also still see Valentina in the background here, so it's nice and easy to do. We're gonna go into whiteboard, and we're gonna work on that whiteboard that we were doing earlier. So I'm gonna share that with Valentina now. This means that two of us can actually draw on the board, plus any virtual participants. And that could be from another Spark board, or any Spark device. So it could just be my mobile if we want to. And I can see that Valentina's starting to draw, and there we go. Fab, isn't that wonderful? I can click stop sharing and return back to my call and we can see everything that we're doing on there. Changing all my options on here as well. And because I've actually start, launched this from my own device, I can now drag the call down as well. So let's say I need to go, that's fine. I drag the call down, I can carry on on my own device here. I can choose to hang up on the board and you can see that I've still got my call going on right now. So we've carried that on. Let's say I get to another room with a Spark registered endpoint. No worries, I can go in here, swipe the call back up, and that will connect me to that same call. So no more, hang on guys, I'll drop this call and call you later. Just swipe down and we're connected back in anyway. Nice and simple. 
we can see that she's connected. And this is my colleague Kat still on the call. Valentina, she had to go, so she's hung up the call for me. Nice and simple. When I'm done, I can choose to end the call, close the space, and it goes back to normal. That's a super quick run through of the Spark board for you. Nice and easy to use, really simple, and you can collaborate so easily.